Hello everybody, Shift3 again with another modded inscription act one run. And today I'm gonna be using Aras mod and also Gareth's mod. Aras mod got new cards and Gareth's mod got also new cards and also new art from the artist Plot Razor. Might as well shout out, you know, we need uh, to uh, shout out and give props to the artist as uh, they are making the mod, I mean the cards pop. So... There goes that. Now, I also have the drafting mod, which is, as you see, for rabbits today. And I also actually made the map bigger. I made the map 50% bigger. So that's uh, that's a mod too, extended maps. So I hope the video is not also going to be 50% bigger. And then we will have some problems. <laughs> then we will have like a one hour and a half video coming on. What is this? I can't read what this is. This is, it moves and also leaves squirrels behind. That's what this is, Blobfish. I like this. It's a 1-2 that leaves squirrels behind. This is strong. Augmented Gek. You mean Trashified Gek? Is that what I'm understanding? Trashified Gek? I mean, it's supposed to be a 0 cost 1-1 one, one, and it's a 2 cost 1-4 and swaps his life with its... This... This is not a Gek. Uh, Wasp. By the way, if I make this a 5-5, five, five, if I buff... I don't like this. This is not a Gek. Wasp. I like the Wasp. Um, the art is awesome. Creates bees is a flyer. It's a six bone cost. Man, these six bone costs... <sighs> I don't know what to say, what to say. I guess we keep the Blobfish. That's what I'm saying here. The Augmented Gek I really don't like. This, this ability here, in my opinion, is really bad. It's uh, when this unit gets attacked, it flips damage to health. Health to damage, so it's gonna be a 3-1. If I give this thing, for example, a 10 flame, uh, 10 health with flame then uh, when it gets hit it will transform into a 10 it's an, a 9 one so that's the trick there but too much setup i think i'm gonna go with vicious beaver this thing creates two uh, dams left and right of it and those dams also have power because it has this ability so it's a two cost three damage pretty much it's circa circa so let's go with this also the sigils can easily get transferred to something to make it stronger i don't like the wasp uh, the sigils are also mediocre. This sigil is definitely mediocre. Maybe go for the proc one and the cat. Maybe? Because the proc one and the sigil? I don't know, man. Such a bad start. Let's go with the elk. Let's go with something simple. And let's also pick up the cat. I mean, why not? I'm sorry I was slow there on the pickup, but... Uh, yeah, it is what it is. Let's go into flame right away, as I have full items. Okay, damage flame is decent. Damage flame is decent. I could give it to the cat. Although, to be honest, I would prefer to sacrifice the cat. Maybe give it to the blobfish. Although, this thing would also be nice to get transferred something else. I don't know. I think I want to give it to the cat. But then again, I want to sacrifice the cat. That's my main concern here. Let's give it to the blobfish. Because it should attack and move. And leave squirrels behind. Is that even a good explanation? Okay, I'm gonna pull away right away. It's a one mana 2-2. Two, two. That also has an ability. What's coming up? I want the sacrifice. I want the sigil, first of all. I need the sigil for sure. Nope, sorry, sorry, sorry. It was a scroll. Let's go here, which is a better choice than the blood, whatever. I really hate that uh, node. The node that tells you, oh, you wanna get a unit that costs one, two, or bones, and then you get a random unit from the whole game. Um... Blobfish... I can play the Blobfish next turn, or I could just play it here, but this this, this Grand Fear, I will trade this. I would like to get a mod that removes this. Let's see. I guess I play the Cat and the Blobfish, but the thing is the Coyote is gonna come in, and then the Blobfish is gonna go and die. Or I could play the Beaver there. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna go Squirrel. This is a Flyer, so we're gonna let that Flyer exist there for the rest of the game. Am I stupid? I'm about to do a mistake. Play the blobfish on the left, control the fight. That's how we're gonna play this. Kill the flyer. I don't know why I was calculating this the whole day. It took me a year to think, but now I have actually decided. Blobfish, you can stay there. We're not losing. Get rid of this. Very nice. Now the vicious beaver isn't even needed. Easy enough. Very nice. 
Next fight. Actually, next item. Let's see how this pig is going to be. River bird. The vicious river bird. It dives every other turn to attack directly. No, it, uh, it goes underwater. I'm gonna go with this. This is a good card. This is like a uh, 1-2 and then it goes under and come. Uh, the next evolution is a 1-3 underwater thing. And then the third evolution, which is the useful one, is a 2-4 underwater, I think. Uh, but the, these sigils are also really good because you can transfer into something and just give it damage. Now, here, uh, although I wanted to take this, I'm gonna go with Flame, as Flame is good always, and also I have a sacrifice over there. I start, uh, I need to trim down my deck a bit. Power, yep. Let's give power to the Blobfish again. I could give the power to the Riverbird. Yeah, because it flies and then it becomes another water unit. I could give it to the Riverbird, I think. And then sacrifice on it the Vicious Beaver buff. And then this thing is gonna ha spawn defenders next to it and also give them attack. And then it's underwater and above water and all the time. Yeah, I like this. I like this. Give me a... Yeah, keep it right there. I have been told that this is the guarantee that you don't lose it. The smell. I, I don't know what this is, though. Maybe that's the guarantee that you will lose it? I have to experiment, but I'm not gonna experiment with uh, something that I need. I will experiment with... Something that I don't mind losing. Let's go here. I'm gonna play this here because it's a flyer now, but it will become an underwater unit in the next round, so I will kill the sparrow. Yeah, you see now it's an underwater unit. Whoop. We take three. And now it's becoming an underwater forever, but it's a 4-4 four four now. So, we're really good here. Us. Should have played the cat on the left. Should have played the cat on the left. I'm making some small mistakes here and there all the time. And because now I can't sacrifice this. And it isn't even... Yeah, I wanted to play the Vicious Beaver in the middle to buff the cat alongside whatever else is there. The Vicious Beaver is definitely leaving the map in a bit. The deck, not the map. Doesn't matter why did I play this. I should start being a bit more efficient with my turns, especially if I don't need to play anything. That's the way how I'm getting <laughs> uh, used to something. Bush Elk. 1-1 one, one Sniper. I like this. A coward. The Bush Elk does not care for rules. I like it. I like it. The Spider. The Fly Trap. Not a creature, but a plant. Do not thread on it. Treat. Treat? Treat on it? Tread on it? Tread on it. I mean, it doesn't have a... What, what is this? So, what is this? By the way, you know what? Uh, this is a shout out to all the artists. I will give you my opinion here. You could have like a little symbol right here at the very corner of every single one of your arts. Or I, mean, I think the painting most of the time the symbol is there at the bottom. Don't make this your signature. Make this like an ex the expansion symbol so that we know which card is from which uh, which expansion. I mean, if you had the possibility to like write it over here at the very top right or somewhere, then do it. But if you're not, then just add it to the art here in the corner. I think it would be a good idea. So, if, if anybody wants to do it, then just do it. Uh, spider. I think I want to get the spider for the items. I can do an item combo with the spider, although I like the snipe. And the snipe on the river bird might even be insane. Might even be insane. Although, I, I prefer to transfer the vicious beaver to the river bird, to be honest. But the snipe is really good overall. So, maybe transfer the snipe over to the blowfish. Yeah, I think I, think I should transfer the snipe over to the blobfish. Or even this thing. I can transfer this over to the blobfish, and then this is gonna move around. Yeah, let's go with this on the blobfish. Maybe maybe the things that it spawns will become... will also have uh, immunity after that. First, I will begin with the uh, river bird, though. First, we go with the carry, and then... Is it gonna get two stitches? Two stitches right away. First, we build the carry up, and then we build the, the combos and the rest up. That's, uh, that's how we should do these things. By the way, I think we're gonna destroy the first boss with the maps being 50% bigger. Um, Proghorn and Mole. Well, uh, it's too late though, so... My washing the rule? Right? Am I wrong about this? Nope, instant win. Five damage! Tin 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 tin! Arrivederci. I, I, I don't even know why I'm speaking random languages. I could speak Greek, I could be like, Ade, yeah. <laughs> Uh, I like the Elk Fawn from these choices. Normally it's not a good card, but I mean, it's a 1 cost 2 for pretty much the next turn. I could also go for a reroll. Uh, re it's a good choice. Let's go for the reroll. 
Uh, not another cat. Mirrors the opponent. I think I'm gonna go with mirrors the opponent. It's a one cost and a lot of times it could literally remove an enemy in front of it. A bunch of flames today. A bunch of flames today. Maybe this is where I should have done the flame chasing. Damage again, by the way. Um, it's either Blobfish or Riverbird. I think I want to go with Blobfish. Riverbird is already a one turn win if I draw it right away. Can I get it? Keep it there. Yeah, I'm afraid I don't want to lose the Blobfish. And uh, I'm pretty sure that the, the Blobfish... What's it called? The um, the squirrels it leaves be it leaves behind. I'm pretty sure they will also be buffed by the flames. So theoretically, it already should be overpowered here. Uh, let's see this in action, you know, because I don't even have anything else to play. Let's see this in action. We're gonna play this here. I don't want to play the cat to be honest. I really don't want to play the cat, but uh, I want to play this alongside the bobfish. So maybe have the cat on the le on the right, and then the bobfish is on the left two positions. Let's try this. Let's have the the cat here. Let's do this, and let's also do this. Let's see if the squirrel is gonna be a. Nope, it's a one two, a zero one. Okay, we lost the cat. Let's see what we can draw. Spider, well, that's trash. Yes. Move over there. Get another squirrel for a spawn. Are we winning? Yep, we won. Well, if we're winning, let's try to go for higher damage. Yep, success. It was successful. The higher damage tactic paid off. Well, we did not win. So instead of higher damage, we actually got win. <laughs> because I always forget the mole. <laughs> mole always gets me. I hate this thing, as I was saying. Uh, bug? Mm, no, that's really media. Everything was mediocre at best. Mites. So, mites and yesterday's uh, diseased wolf is pretty much the same. Guys, for whoever is creating cards like these, like these here, you have to realize that the skeleton of Act 2 is a zero cost 1-1. One, one. There is no reason to make this cost bones. This should be a free card. This is this is already worse than a Gek by just just by the fact that it has the sigil. So this is not needed. This alone makes the card trash. Uh, another one of those. I guess I buy the mites, right? For sacrifice fodder, but I don't need sacrifice fodder. Let's go for another one of those. Let's go for a flame. Can I get damage again for the third time? Health. Um, health. I'm definitely gonna give. Not the river bird, as it's underwater. I'm gonna give it to the blobfish. I want to have the blobfish running around. We're gonna take this away, because they didn't say the magic words. And I don't want to lose my, one of my two cards. By the way, there is a chance that I will not be able to progress after that one sigil there. The totem, because I think I have one. I think there is like a sigil. What's it called? I think there is like a... Give me a sec here, I want to calculate how I can snipe this proghorn. I can't snipe the Proghorn. Just gonna move to the left. I wanted to move to the left alongside it, but I'm gonna move to the right. Yeah, I cannot snipe the Proghorn. Boop. We move to the right. Now the Proghorn cannot snipe us at least. Now it's gonna move to the left. Okay. The stupid cat. Now this is gonna tank. Move to the right. Elk fawn. Okay, at least the egg fawn went ahead and uh, removed itself from the equation. While also taking alongside the backline elk fawn. Genius maneuver move. Now the blockfish blocked itself in, but it doesn't matter because... Oh, you got me this time. Do I want money? I take this. Do I want money? Do I want money? Is the question. Oh, pass. Okay, and here we go for the win. Buff the neighbors. Up, and we get a bunch of coinage. Nice. Let's see if this is bugged. If it's bugged, I'm most likely gonna pause. By the way, for 15 minutes for... Here, one cost. Another blobfish. This is decent. This is decent. 
Come on, turn back out, please. Yes, yes, it didn't bug out. I will obviously go for this as this is the most broken one of those. This is uh, creates uh, when something attacks the squirrel, it will create a bee. But with the thing moving around, I will always have bees. It's a uh, we're gonna go full on squirrel build or something. It's a bees and squirrels run. Seems like, seems like a bees and squirrels run to me. <laughs> we'll see. Shouldn't it be bees and flowers though? Uh oh. <laughs> I said something that might uh, get us into trouble. Either way, um, I think I want to play this. Actually, to be honest, I want to play the squirrel and let it die. Get a bee out of it. Buy myself some time. Yeah, overall, I want to buy myself some time. As much time as possible, and then I can even play this next turn right away. Web pass. Web pass. Oh no, wolf cubs. A bee is coming along. Nice. Now I can draw this with no fear. Nice, I got a cat. So theoretically speaking, I can play the bee, play the cat, play the spider, play the elk. Do I have room? One, two, three. Yeah, I have enough room. So we play this. Play the cat, which I want to lose after I do all my summoning. So let's play the cat over here so it dies. And we play the spider. Then we play the elk. Which in my opinion should do an assassination here. And then we play the spider again. And then we play this thing. And then I would like to do this. Does that count? I think I have tried before and it doesn't count. Yeah, it doesn't count. I can't get the 3-4 cat. Either way, let's pass. Yep, the cat's dying. Part of the plan, part of the plan. Destroy real card. Blobfish is here. Not gonna throw the blobfish in the bin. So let's throw a greater smoke in the bin. Talking about phase two, if it isn't apparent. Wolf's coming in. At least trying to. Uh, now here I think we're winning. Yeah, if we win here, we get rid- No, we're not winning. We got this, we're not winning. We pass. Very nice. Now the wolf's not even gonna come in. And now we're winning. Actually, we're not winning because the small's gonna block this and this. But the small's gonna block the wolf in, so we got even more time. I love it. I love it when everything goes according to plan. Okay, now we need to win though. And I think we are because... Yeah, we're winning because this is gonna kill the mole and then the greater smoke's gonna end it. Very nice. Okay, that's gold in them cards. Ping, ping, ping. The boulder is golden. Ping. I've struck gold. Classic. Okay, the moment, the moment you make the big, by the way, by the way, the mule being there is a problem. Let's pass. But hunt comes in. I could have won right away if the mule wasn't there. Yeah, because I would play the river bird. It would buff both of them and they would attack the free lane plus uh, an air attack for three damage and we would have won right away. But uh, that's not happening. So let's go here and let's go into a blobfish, which will kill the bloodhound right away. And then when something else comes in, it will start moving around. The pass, kill the pack mule. And you know what? Now I will actually show you what I, I was meaning before, that I could get a, get a one turn kill. I got this. Attack gold! You, <laughs> you didn't struck gold, gold struck you! <laughs> the bad jokes, man, the bad jokes. That's why you're here for, right? Tell me that you're not here for for the bad jokes and the good gameplay. Ooh, what is this? Canine God, the three-eyed... I love it, I love it already. Seeing this creature will make your bones melt. The Canine God is truly powerful, and it has the repulsive sigil. If a creature would attack a card bearing the sigil, it does not. Insane, I love it. I'm telling you guys, you have to have a little symbol here in the corner, so that I know which one is from which mod. I love it, though. I'm gonna pick this thing up, what are you talking about? I don't care that it costs 3, I mean, I will most likely not be able to play it, but I don't care, man. The sigil is awesome, we will sacrifice it. <laughs> Let's go, insects, etc. Let's continue. Ooh, there is a. There are some choices there to be done. I like this, I like the bush elk. I like the bush elk. Let's go with the bush elk. It's a 
normal unit that can use at least behind some enemy lines. I would like to remove from my deck one of these two stupid things. This thing will get transferred over to... What was the plan? To the blobfish? Yeah, the plan was transfer the spider over to the blobfish. So that it moves around and I don't care if it dies. Transfer the snipe over to the canine god. The canine god is pretty much immortal. This thing cannot hit it. Yeah, you know what? I should transfer this over to something else, to be honest. Transfer this over to... Well, it doesn't matter where I transfer it over. Right now, the question is what I will, will I remove? And I think I should remove one of those from the decks. From the deck. I know that this is coming up. Or should I just get a... I'm thinking about getting a, um, a pack rat in the deck and then throwing it away and then fill my deck with a bunch of trash and then hope I find a shop before we lose. I'm not bones. I, I don't need bones at all. This uh, this would be just from you know this and th this this and this is the bad choice. Actually, this is not so bad. I don't know why I'm avoiding that. Let's go here. This is not so bad. It isn't bad at all, actually. Okay, what should I throw in the bin though? Blobfish creates three units. I think I want to throw these away. I know that the the mito, the, the, you know the the mushroom guys are coming up, but I prefer for them to just give us something I already have another time than uh, combining these. These will just become a one cost mirror six. I, I know you guys disagree. I'm pretty sure a lot of people disagree, but uh, let's say that uh, I don't care. I mean, it's my decision, and I think that's the correct one. I think just getting a 0-6 is worse than getting anything I have in the deck twice. Because I have a bunch of good cards. And then later if I find some... It again, I will be, it will be even better. Blobfish is here. Skink is here too. Okay, I would say let's play the Blobfish. And uh, make it move from here to there. It doesn't need to go over to the first spot. Because now the enemy is gonna damage for one. But it's already too late. We already won. And you know what? I'm even gonna bring the god in. Maybe he does something. I'm not aware of. He does nothing. But he is the canine god. Which will get sacrificed into something else. <laughs> because the sigil is overpowered while the unit is not. Again, this thing. Wait. You know what? That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get a 2-2 two -two out of this. You see? You, you Sometimes you have to just believe in RNG. To carry you. Oh, I could also do the blobfish. I did not realize that. Well, this was a bad choice then. The blobfish is gonna become a four something, which is really good. But uh, I haven't gotten any sigils on it, and I'm not sure you can transfer sigils on these cards. Can you? You know what? I don't care. This is like a lot better than this. This is gonna be a four six, so it's only going to be dying from poisonous. But poisonous, you said sift is. Uh, but sift, poison. <laughs> but poisonous, but sift, you said poisonous is trash. Well, Leshy, once again, cheats. <laughs> Leshy needs to kill your units that have 5 damage. You don't need to do that. You just need to win, Bullfrog. The Blobfish is here, but it's in a really bad spot because I have that stupid stump. But I got the Riverbird, so this is over. But it ca I can't win because I have the stupid stump. But I have the Bushel. <laughs> okay, we go with the Riverbird here. Which will do 4 damage per turn. Can I sacrifice this or this? No. Whip pass. I'm expecting to see a comment being like, If you played the blobfish, it would do 4 damage, and plus the 1 damage from the stump would be a win. This is obviously not possible, by the way. As uh, the stump has damage because of the river bird. Let's continue. I see there is another combination, which I can go for, you know? I can go for another combination. Maybe I will draw a combined unit here. Uh, Sigils is a joke for us, right? Yeah, Sigils is a joke for us. Easy. Done, done, done. It's done, it's done. Yo, it's done, man. They should they should have made this so that if you draw one card, it's like, oh, you did it. <laughs> and then he stops. It's a bug with a bug. This is trash. Tiny Ant. I like the ti tiny ant. It costs... What? I thought this costed zero. What is this? Okay, let's uh, let's let's assume this is not here, okay? Let's let's assume this does not exist. One cost, zero, one, and two turns to transform. By the way, I'm gonna go for this. Because Flyer is actually relevant on this card. So I'm gonna go with this. And here 
I would like to go for the combination to combine either this with this or these two. But I think it's more important to transfer the, inf the immortality onto something that needs it. Or even this thing. Or even the canine god. I think canine god transfers better. To be honest. So can I... Yeah, I can put this here. I guess canine god, man. I guess canine god. The so the blobfish is gonna move around <laughs> and just leave the squirrels behind and then the rest of the units are gonna come in. This is insane. The blobfish is awesome right now. If I had put some buffs on the blowfish before uh, the glow the blobfish before I transformed them, it would have been even better. Okay, this is like a one turn win. So we're not even gonna calculate anything here. Let's go. Let's go, Riverbird. Let's go. There is another combination. How many combinations are we gonna find today? I guess I can combine these. Or these. Actually, these are better. Either way. Um, Mantis? Because I want the sigil? I mean, I'm running out of sigils, to be honest. Uh, sigils to throw away, I mean. Rat King, I hate. Let's go for the Mantis. Let's go for the Mantis. If not the sigil, then I even can use this flame on the Mantis. Uh, I will combine here for sure, because I have a lot of singletons that are trash. Or trashy, at minimum. Now, I think I want to add another sigil to this and then combine it if I get the chance. The same goes for the bush elk too, though. You know what? I'm gonna combine the bush elk and I'm gonna give it the mantis symbol after the combination happens. It doesn't need anything else. With just the mantis symbol, it's doing 4 damage already. And I can split it into 2 and 2, which is really strong. I mean, obviously the breakpoint is 5 damage, but if I'm doing 4 and 4 and 4 and 4, it's not really that bad. Like, we're not gonna have any problem whatsoever. Look at this. This is normally a very hard fight to actually deal with. And now this is going to be a joke. I do 4 damage. I move to the right. Squirrel dies. Skink's not gonna attack. Whoa, you can't attack, my dude. You can't attack. By the way, I made a mistake. Should have drawn a squirrel. I know that I have a squirrel here, but I don't really need it. I can kill the adder and the this thing, the tail of this. 4 damage. 3, 4, 5... Actually, I'm gonna move to the right, so 3, 4 damage is gonna come in. I'm super winning. We're super safe here. That kills the background, and then I'm gonna chase this king down, so this king cannot attack us. Oh no, oh no. Bush Elk is here, though. We go here, and we go Bush Elk over here. And now you pass. Snipe this. Nice. Rattler is attacking, but this adder cannot attack. Riverbird is here, so we go here to create a dam and also buff the bush elk. Bush elk. We pass. We go with snipe here because this is going to hit the back line. Wait a minute. Can I win? I think I can win. Uh, if I attack here, I'm definitely doing 4 damage in the air, plus 3. Yeah, it's a win. Easy enough. There's no reason to farm enemies if you can win, obviously. Why would I just stand around and do damage. I still have the spider to transfer onto something, so this is literally not needed. But Sift, you could use your cockroach to actually use the bones you get in the fight. I guess. Is a wolf better? I think a wolf is better, because I, I, I have a lot of sacrifice outlets. Let's go here. Still haven't found an adder or something to poison the flame. That's why you need disease mod. People were saying in the disease mod video that uh, Yosef disease mod is a bit too overpowered. Um, the, the flame part. Which uh, is true up to a point. Let's go with the bush elk. But uh, keep it right there. So we continue with the experiment of keep it right there being 100% guaranteed. Um, yeah, I was saying. So... Yeah, uh, killing the flame is OP, but as you see, normally you cannot do it. And the thing is that the moment you add mods, there is not a single mod that is actually killing the flame the flame people with the mod. I want to go to the this guy, to the combine. Yeah, let's go here. And also, I hate this while I like this. 
Um, yeah, there isn't any mod that uh, is actually killing the survivors. So disease mod is the only thing that's doing it. So it might be overpowered, but at least it is something, you know, it's it's something unique that there are new cards. That mod actually has new cards that kills the survivors. That's that's the awesome part of it. Um, I would say we play the blobfish. <laughs> I mean, was there any doubt? And I'm playing it here to actually kill this work around too. You can't attack us. This will copy the enemies. Attack. I could play it here and have a lockdown on this line, lane. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Let's get the lockdown on that lane so that the blobfish stays on the three, th the three left lanes. And the other back lane's dead there too. So this maybe I can play something. Spider, yay! <laughs> uh, I could transfer it over to the left. Not pass. This, the, by the way, this fight is normally very hard. Like very hard. Bush elk is here. Over there. Boop. Snipe this one too. And we won. Actually, I think I could have won before. Yeah, I think I could have won a turn before. Up oh, here, the the. the the Yugi draw. We definitely won here. Easy enough. I want the double strike on the Bush Elk to be able to either win instantly, which I'm most of the time going to do, or at least snipe two units off the board. Augmented Gek. I said that this uh, card is really bad. I'm gonna get the Ringworm to burn out the flame. Is it a bit too late though for that? I think it's a bit too late for that. We're about to fight the boss either way. Hyena. The Crackling Hyena always has an ally lurking in the shadows, and the symbol is allies. When a creature bearing the sigil dies, one of its old allies will temporarily join your hand to avenge it. And it's a 3 cost. I'm gonna take this. It's a 3 bone cost, it's easy to play, and uh, maybe it does something awesome, we don't know. It's a 1-2, which is mediocre stats, but with four, co with 3 cost, I'm okay with it, you know. If it was 4 cost, uh, maybe still okay, because it's a 1-2 and also does something. It has to do, has to, we have to see what the allies do. It's an allies deck, guys, from Magic the Gathering. When when the hyena enters the battlefield or another ally enters the battlefield. I, I, I'm so sure that this joke flies over every single head. Uh, nobody understands what I'm saying sometimes. It's like from the 5,000 people that are going to watch this or maybe 10,000, like one might understand what I just said. Join the Discord and tell me. <laughs> tell it in the Discord. Let's see. By the way, I can play the wolf right away. Can I win right away? Can I win right away? I can definitely play two greater smokes and a wolf and just attack because I can play cat into spider into a sacrifice cat and the spider into wolf. I mean squirrel into cat into spider into cat and wolf kill both of them play the two smokes and then I'm gonna die 100% of the time next turn. Uh, why did I calculate all this? Nobody knows. Let's play the greater smoke over here. Uh, let's have him fight with the Kingfisher and we pass. I don't like this fight, by the way. I mean, it's uh, it's just a normal fight. It's not that I hate it or anything. Bush Elk is here. Bush Elk is here. Let's... Uh... Can I get a win right now? Play the Greater Smoke. Actually, I don't need to play anything. Just... Just... Sacri sacrifice this, yeah. We just do this. And this. Pass. Can I attack this field? I can, but it doesn't do anything. We won. Bush Elk's gonna carry us. It's over. Oh no, we took two damage. Whoop, he hooked. Oh no. Elk's here too. Bush Elk. Snipe. Bush Elk obliterate. Hey, now what? Oh no, go fish. Oh no. Uh, we pass. Here. Now what? Oh no! Blobfish is here too. Maybe I should play it. Just for the memes, you know? Just for the memes. Look at this crazy stuff. Snipe. And the money, by the way. Let's not forget the money. It's not always about the memes. <laughs> 34 minutes. We're going pretty decent here. We are in a good pace to actually do this. 50% bigger map, less than an hour, would be insane. Okay, I mean, we're gonna go with uh, either the Strange Larva or the Mole Man. I mean, Strange Larva was the old carry of the old days. I don't know if people have seen it. 
The mole man is a time buyer, I guess. Hmm. Do I need to buy myself some time or do I need a strange law? I mean, I'm I'm filled with uh with carries right now. I don't need to actually do anything. By the way, there are some people that are telling me to yo try a run with uh, no items used or whatever, a no item used challenge or whatever. Yeah, this is happening a lot of times randomly, so I don't need to actually do a challenge out of it. I think I want to go this path, although I have a sacrif... What is this? What is the symbol and why, why can I not see it? I think I want to go here, flame, here, here, here. And uh, yeah, we see what we get. I prefer it over a pack rat a thousand times. Let's see what I get. Four blood. Can I get sigils? Sigils. I mean, yeah, it's sigils. There is a wolf though. Let's hope the wolf's not gonna screw with us. You see, we won. Easy enough. You pass. The river bird I'm already using with bones. Infinite great white sharks. Not really playable though. And queen that produces flyers. I think I will go with the river bird. I think I will go with the river bird. Because now I can go and combine it on the metro this on this thing. And now it's gonna become like a super insane river bird. Although the, the sigil is trash, but at least I can combine it, you know. That, that, that that's the plan at least. That, that's why I picked the board. To have a combination that is actually useful. Power. Okay, the river bird will not need any more power, as it is going to get four power out of the combination, so it will like instantly kill every anything. Um, now you would say give it to the Mantis, but I want to transfer the Mantis Sigil over to the Bush Elk. So the solution for me would be to give it to either the Blobfish for an insta win, or to the Mole Man for, uh, for him to also do some damage while he's blocking and running all around the map. I think the Mole Man with some damage is actually useful. Keep it right there, they said. So we're gonna keep on the experiment of keep right there, meaning uh, don't change, uh, don't change a card. Someday somebody's gonna join the Discord and explain to me if they have experimented more on this and uh, told me what's uh, to be done. By the way, there is a link in the description for the Discord, the Sift the Discord that is, my Discord. Uh, one of the few times I might die. I mean, not really, because first of all. I can play the cat. I would say not on the right, though. Let's play it here. If, if the cat dies... Actually... I think maybe here's the spot. I'm I'm not 100% sure. Is the mantis a good idea or the wolf? I mean, I don't need to sacrifice the mantis. What am I even talking about? I can just play the wolf next turn. Raven eggs are coming in. Here. Let's get rid of the turkey. Yeah, I know. The mole blocked in. Perfect. I got an elk. Okay, the mantis is not for this world. As I see it. So maybe bring the mole, the, the elk in. Because the elk... I can play, play the elk here, snipe the mole, and the next turn it will move. It will block the yeah, falcon and hit... Wait a minute, am I winning? No, I'm not winning. So we do this. This will not... Ta it's it's okay. It's the same. It's if if not better. That was something I did not calculate. Yeah, so that was a mistake for sure. Um, spider. I mean, I can play it. It's not gonna cost us anything. Anyway, it doesn't matter. This is a flyer, so it won't even hit us. <laughs> we will hit it first. Or does it? And we won. <laughs> and just like that. Boop. What was that? Was that the flyer? Oh, the flyer of tail. Okay. Good tactics. Good tactics there, my dude. Tail is actually good. We continue here to forced path. We might draw something insane here before anything. Sigils. Damage. Health. I mean sigils. I don't need to even look at this. Only the wolf. Damn it! Damn it! <laughs> we would have gotten health and damage. No, it doesn't matter. It's not gonna be the end of the world. But I am doing the... No! <laughs> impressions. Let's go on. Riverbird, obviously. Now it is a 4-6. 4-4? 4-4. 4-4. Uh, a 4-4 four, four destroys everything on its path. And helps its allies too. I love it. We got a bone out of that. Squirrel spins here. Also, people are telling me to try a challenge with... Um, what's it called? Um, 
mind blank. Mind. I should have been behind the turkey. I would have been safe for the rest of the run. Either way, it doesn't matter. I'm winning next turn either way. Well, it's only flyers, so... Let's do some overkill damage. Oh, I'm not winning right away. Forget that. Let's go here. Play the... This thing. Now you snipe this. Because I knew the mole's gonna do this zigzag. It just did. Let's try a thing. Hyena, you can join us. I will not be able to see what it does. When it perishes, when a creature bring it, dies. I guess sacrifice does not count as dying. Snipe the elk fawn. Thank you. Oh no, raven. <laughs> Who cares? Oh, we win. Oh, we saw what... Ooh, okay, it draws you strong cards. Uh, let's go for the win, obviously. The tree was helping. The tree's like, I'm here too. Boop. <laughs> I exist. I'm doing stuff. The bigger maps are really felt, by the way. I can feel the bigger maps here. Five bones, no blood cost. Damn. You know what? Let's go with damage. Aha! The bloodfish. Although I was about to say, haha, the moment being burned was helpful, but... An Anthill? Anthill. 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 <laughs> there is an Anthill over there. An Anthill. Anthill. It creates an ant when you play it. It does something else when it dies. And it also creates a bees within when it's attacked. Or just draw whatever card you want. Draw whatever card you want. Something crazy. I'm gonna go with something crazy. And I hope it's going to be overpowered. Or otherwise I will uh, be disappointed. And now we're gonna go here and trash it. <laughs> I mean, there is a flame there too, so I think I will go with sacrifices. Let's see what we can transfer today. Has the time come to sacrifice the spider onto the mole main to have an immortal mole main to a forever block? Or on the bush elk to have a sniper? Or the mantis on the bush elk? You know, I think I'm gonna send the mantis onto the bush elk. Which now is uh, literally insta win. It's always better. You know, you have to think it like this. You have to think about it like this. Do I want a good defensive card or a good offensive card? Like, do I want to win instantly or do I want to be able to not lose? Now, if you say I, it's nice to not be able to lose, then you have to think for the second part of this question. Which one of the cards are you going to draw first? Are you going to draw the over card that you didn't buff more? Uh, the, the, the powerful card that you didn't buff more? Or are you going to draw the defensive card that you didn't buff more? So if you, if you think about it, it's pretty much almost the same. It's pretty much almost the same. <laughs> you will hear. So you know what? At this point, might as well go with a glitch. For whoever doesn't know, that card is literally any card in the game right now. We got damage. Very nice. Now, this is an insta-kill. This is an insta-kill. Ah, uh, this is not an insta-kill. How much do you have? It's a four. I, I don't need to buff this. This is an insta-kill. I guess the Mole Man is the play here. And then the last thing I want to sacrifice is the spider on the Mole Man, I guess. Let's get into a 3-6. They didn't say keep it. 3-6 is decent. Yeah, I mean, if you're gonna create one super card, then it should be instantly winning the game. <laughs> it, it doesn't make sense to try to be uh, in the game forever, like, have, achieving immortality doesn't make sense. Okay, it's uh, maybe the first and most likely also the only one where uh, time where I will be able to stall this fight out enough to play the anthill. Actually, what am I talking about? I can't even play the anthill, it's trash. Bushwalk Elk. Well, that, that was it for you, my dude. Um, did I make a mistake? Nope, it's a flyer. Snipe this. Oh, I... Wow. I almost lost there. I I clicked twice because I thought that you have to click twice. We go here and here. Because it isn't marking it like it did. I clicked once and I was not seeing any animation. And I was like, okay, what are we waiting for? Tran uh, sacrifice the hyena. Well, that's a trash thing to get. We pass. I think we won. Well, I could have I could have tested. No, I could not have tested because this fight has flyers. Don't forget that flyers can actually not, indeed, actually not, um, attack your units. <laughs> uh, let's go. What is the most thing I have? This is a canine. Canine. This is like a flyer, I think. 
try this. Uh, let's try canines. Can I get a canines again? No. Let's go with fl uh, let's go with insects. Work around, of course. I I don't know why I went with insects. Oh, I should never go with insects. Uh, sacrifice this. Onto the moment, I would say. To be honest. Maybe on the hyena for infinite spawns. I could transfer the hyena buff onto the spider, and then whenever I sacrifice something, I interject a spider sacrifice in it, and always get another unit for free. Yeah, wait a minute. So I can, for example, sac if let's say I want to play the cat. I, I play the squirrel, I play the spider, and then I play the cat on the spider, and then I get a free hy a unit from the hyena. Or I can just make the mole man be mole. You know, and... Uh, the moment I draw him and after I have 100% guaranteed that I cannot lose anymore. This is literally I cannot lose anymore card. Once again, I was thinking a bit too deep into this. There is no reason to think too deep. Whoop, we got it. Are you guys happy that I saw it? Are you guys happy that I saw the coin? Are you? This is happening more often than you think. <laughs> I'm not being uh, I'm not being uh, aggressive. I'm, I'm, I'm having fun because this thing has been in the comment section a lot of times. You didn't even see it. Let's go with the mole man. And pass. I want to see what the ant hill does. Okay, so this thing is blocked in the middle right now, and the mole man will have enough time to actually buy us time. So actually we won. <laughs> Damn it! We won! I'm not gonna sacrifice the mole man for the stupid ant hill. Oh we didn't win. Even better. If anything, we got the mole man back. Okay, I think I can play the moment right now to block. And then the ant hill the turn after. I definitely need blocking and I also don't want to I don't want to win. It's here. We pass. I can sacrifice the moment too, so the sacrifice doesn't even mean anything. It's not like I really sacrificed anything. Okay, this the, the whole area here is blocked in. So, I would say play the squirrels, play the ant. Yeah, I don't care about Delphon, and then turn after I can play the Mole Man, so I'm not in any hurry whatsoever. So let's test. Let's test. First of all, we got the workaround out of that, and uh, let's see what the Ant Hill does. It gave us a B. No, uh, the B. Oh, the Ant Queen creates an. The Ant Hill creates an Ant Queen. And the Ant Queen creates a worker ant. So you play it, you get the worker ant, then it dies, it creates another worker ant, and then plus the worker ant that gets created either, either way. We get a bunch of worker ants. I mean, congratulations, I guess. Here, let's play some worker ants. Do you feel powerful? Well, I don't. <laughs> they died like jump change. Let's go here. Let's go here. Start clearing out shop. I like, I like how the mole man and the the moose bug interact. Awesome. It's gonna take a year. This is gonna take a year just because I wanted to test stuff. Da -da 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 -da. Um, here, let's get rid of the moose, moose buck. The mole came in. Now it's gonna take even longer. Oh, I got the frozen opossum too. Elk. I don't find any reason to eat elk. I mean, the work runs doing its job. And uh, the mole man's making us a model, so. The sniper is here. Time for a radical change on the composition of our team. Uh, it should be on the left. Mistakes were made. You should always have this thing on the left. Pass. Uh, snipe this and this. Love it. And now we're gonna go for a big damage hit. Woo! This is bigger than I thought. This thing's dying from the moment and the rest is gonna go through. <laughs> Look at this money! Throw it. How much mine do I have? I have 50 on the dot. Well, we're going for the flame either way. Because this is not useful without pelts. Okay, damage, health. And I will go with sigils again. It's only the stupid thing. It doesn't have sigils. I'm so stacked on sigils. Thank you. Yes. Yeah, easy. I would have gotten damage too. You know what? This might be the only time a cockroach might be useful, even remotely useful. And then again, the alpha gives you another sacrifice when you play it. 
But Sift, you have 20 bones laying around every fight. I don't care. Let's go with... I guess the mole man. Uh-huh. Risky. Let's take it away. No, it's a 4-6. Now, there is a chance that its damage will pierce the back line. Boop. Fire one. Boop. Fire two. Greater smoke. I still haven't used any item, by the way. And I also avoided almost every single pack rat. As far as I remember, at least. This is, in classic, classic fashion, going to be a... Uh, you know what? Let's play this grill here. Let's play the smoke and let's play the other smoke too. I don't care. Normally I'm trying to not use the smokes just to hinder myself and uh, I guess make the fight a bit more, I guess, uh, fun or whatever. But right now I see no reason to actually do that. I uh, right at this instance. I can play a B. I should have just drawn another squirrel. I should just draw squirrel, play B. Draw squirrel, play B. Draw squirrel, play B. That's how I should do it. Um, either way, let's start getting rid of that. Okay, let's go here. The smokes are gonna die. For the cause. Elk's coming in. Okay, let's draw a real card. The sniper's here. The end is nigh. That will pass. Sniper only, please. Snipe one. Sn How much left do I have? Does that mm, I think I'm winning, right? Snipe two. Let's I, I don't think we will die from two damage. Okay. Safe. Let's go here. We'll pass. Boop boop. Take the squirrel. Okay. I draw a real card. Pass. Tuck tuck. We win. Bush elk of doom. <laughs> At this point of doom is a meme. Maybe I can do merchandise out of it. Of doom. Uh, take the front line away. And what stays? The win. Now what? I mean, here. Aina's joined a battle. It doesn't matter. Pass. I don't know why I'm thinking about this. Sometimes I try to do like over overhead damage. Sometimes I'm trying to get some photos, you know, from the thumbnail. I'm not gonna lie, but uh, sometimes I'm just I'm 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 trying to min max an already one fight. Like it doesn't make sense. Why would I even need money at this point? Late game maybe yes, but not now. Ancient being. I don't think I made this, but you can choose it if you please. So the ancient being actually two cost infinite sack. Oh, I like it. I like it. I like it. Reanimator. The reanimator animates the dead, summoning skeletons along its path. Oh, this is the... It moves and lets the skeleton behind. And when it dies, it gives you a bunch of skeletons. The skeletons are one ones that die at the end of the turn. Well, I think Ancient Being is better. I mean, it's a super cat, to be honest. Ancient Being is a super cat. And Reanimator is a fun idea, but uh, I don't really need it. It's, it's really bone-focused, and I'm not a bone deck myself. Can I read this? I cannot read this. Would, would be nice to get this uh, this uh, creature, by the way. That's a steel creature. <laughs> uh, it's it's the same for me. I mean, this this is not even useful for the team I have. So let's go with the reanimator and be done with it. I don't even need to think about this. We're gonna go fight Leshy now. Imagine if this last area is also extended and somehow has like two or three events in, instead of one. Well, it's not. <laughs> let's go for a final sacrifice instead of getting a stupid pack rat. Uh, I guess, uh, reanimator, your time has come to go. And I could give it to the hyena. And then the hyena is gonna be moving around and spawning stuff. And when it dies, eventually... Do you think it even matters what I'm doing right now? I don't think it matters, like, at all. I don't think it matters at all what I do right now. Because I'm not gonna use these cards. <laughs> I mean, if if I don't get the draw whatever you want at the end, then maybe I will use them. But uh, if my luck tells me anything, this should be a really quick fight. Like, I just play the bird and win. Play the bird, win the game. Let's see, good luck. I'm not even gonna play the bird, forget the bird. I'm gonna play the double sniper. 
You pass. Draw whatever I want. I'm just taking this. Not even checking the rest. Sif, no! We are cringing if we don't see the rest. Rare. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. You can stop. You can stop. Success. Double draw. <laughs> I could draw this too, like, without even checking the rest. I should have drawn it without checking the rest. I was like, whoop, take this too. <laughs> okay, so the only negative here is that turn one, I cannot actually draw cards right away. And also that the enemy starts with a mole man. <laughs> but if my starting hand has the sniper elk, we win right away. Sniper elk, come on, join us. Join us, sniper elk. Still love this music, by the way. Just to be safe. Wow. Come on, sniper elk right away. First card drawn. Yeah, well, we got the river bird, so we won either way. Um, actually, we did not win, as the river bird is flying, and this thing is a mole man, and it's gonna block everything. But I kill. I can kill the mole man right away. I can also play the blobfish. I can play them both. I can win right away. I don't want this thing to set up a dam. So I'm gonna play it in the corner and play the blobfish next to it. It might sound stupid and the idea overall is not a good one. But um, how do I say this? I don't care. <laughs> I don't want to set up a dam. That's my thing. That's my problem. The mole man's gonna absorb this hit. And then the blobfish is gonna overkill the mantis god. Whoop. Boom. Done. Next. Yeah, no, you, this will never happen. He will never, ever have the time to do that. Uh, let's get the sniper shout out. And uh, what else could I get out of the deck? I guess the mole man. Yeah, let's get the mole man out of the deck. Okay, so... We just play everything and win, you know? That's my plan. Let's, let's just get a super, super stacked crew here. And uh, begin the start of the end. Pass. Boop, 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 boop. Love it. Do, 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 do. Now, if he dings us, we lose on the spot, but uh, he's not gonna ding us. Oh, well, we, you made a mistake, my dude. You didn't set up a, a thousand stumps here and then another thousand th stumps in the background. <laughs> do I need to draw anything? Let's see what this is. Oh, it's a porcupine. Uh, also known as mediocre. Uh, definitely better than a bullfrog. Actually, at least it's not a bullfrog, as I have said in my guide. Wait a minute. Oh, this is not flying anymore. <laughs> um, I mean, we snipe this and also... Here, help up the blobfish. Everything's toast. We're so powerful. It's a joke. Yeah, you're gonna photoshoot the moon, we know. How many blooded cards do I have, by the way? So many blooded cards. Doesn't matter what I'm drawing. Whatever. Ah, no, I could have killed it in one turn. No, it is what it is. Look. Snipe, snipe. Snipe, 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 snipe. I was spamming it, by the way. He tried to attack it and it was like, nope. I could insta kill it, by the way, because I have poisonous, but I don't care. That's when, oh, by the way, for anybody asking, you cannot use the hook against the moon. Let's go. Boop, 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 boop. I'm spamming, by the way. It's pretty bugged. Just exactly, exactly before lethal. I love you, man. I love you, mole man. You did what you had to. You did exactly what I wanted you to. Snipe. Obliterate. Where's the money? Where's my money? Where's my money? <laughs> and I'm, I'm bringing out the bat and I'm smashing his knees or something. <laughs> Kneecap smashed. By the way, it took us about an hour. Wow, insane. Insane. I mean, it's not insane, because uh, although the map was bigger, I was more powerful than average. So I think it balances out. Now the question is, what do you guys prefer? Do you guys prefer um, normal-sized maps with a normal-sized power level? I mean, my power level isn't normal, but whatever. Or do you prefer these bigger maps with even more power level? Also something else I want to point out. Some people told me that I'm not um, using Roboros or I'm hating or something. No. I love Luruboros. The only reason I'm not picking it up, by the way, um, 50% more map. Uh, 
Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, I mean, I love the, the flash guys. The photo shoot actually made me erase my memory. So yeah, that's going to be it. Thanks for watching. See you guys. Right. So I was saying I love Roboros. I don't have any problem with it. The only the only reason I'm not picking Roboros up is because uh, it's breaking the game and it's an easy win, you know? Otherwise, I would obviously pick it up. And you know what? The next time I have the choice to get to Roboros, if I get a combo I want, I will pick it up. So I have a combo in mind with Uroboros, and if Uroboros appears and I have the combo almost ready, I will pick it up. Otherwise, I will not. So let's make it like an event. If it happens, it happens. And uh, yeah, this time I think it is it. Uh, by the way, as always, if you guys like the video, maybe drop a like, helping out the channel. You know, this has been like the thing I'm saying every time at this point. And uh, the, the moment everybody leaves. And uh, yeah, today's uh, question of the day, I guess, would be... For you, did you like the bigger map? I would, uh, obviously, it, I, th I think it was pretty obvious that because the map was bigger, I had a chance to get more flames and more sacrifices and more uh, mushrooms, a lot more mushrooms than normally. And um, yeah, I mean, the map is bigger, so we become more powerful, so we go faster through the map. I mean, the bosses are definitely a joke with the power level we got, but at least we get to enjoy more uh, OP stuff. So what do you believe? By the way, uh, until a mod comes along that makes the bosses harder, uh, this game will always be easy. So if you if your argument is yeah, bigger maps are fun, but you become too powerful and then you beat the final boss or the boss before the final boss or the bosses you beat the bosses too easily because you're buffed too much. I don't think that's a thing. But um, the question is mostly focused on too much of a good thing might be bad. So maybe. You know, this would normally be like a 50-minute run without the... I, I, I would believe that it, this would be a 50-minute run otherwise, but uh, I don't know. Maybe you guys like the power creep. Uh, I, I don't mind it, but I just want to know your opinion, you know. 50% uh, bigger maps for a smidge of power creep is not really that big of a change. I mean, instead of having two overpowered cards or three overpowered cards, we had four overpowered cards. That's the difference overall. We had the mole man, we had the flyer, we had the sniper, and we had the the blobfish so we had four overpowered cards pretty much at the end of this and uh yeah that's uh, that's going to be it so thanks for watching and see you guys around